coming in a little under 3,600 pounds, capable of sleeping four, plus it's nice and bright with a ton of windows. Folks, this is the 2022 Coleman Rubicon 1628BH. So again, one of the things I love about the Rubicon, folks, again, not only is the weight, but how many windows you have. You can see there are windows everywhere in this thing, including right up front, really helps bring in a ton of natural light during the day. Unless, of course, you don't want it to, and then you have blackout shades so you can close it off is wonderful and plus to add to that right you have the nice bright cabinetry and you can see it's backlit in there which is a, a nice look it really helps the designer glass pop uh, you can also see right here is a multimedia center uh, you have the hdmi input on there your main control panel is right here you will notice the water heater does run off both gas and electric and you can turn both those on at the same time for faster recovery dropping down is your kitchen countertop you have upgraded countertops on here uh, i really like this they're generally known as like seamless or thermal form countertops and they are definitely an upgrade over t-mold because you don't have that t-mold that's going to pop off less chance for water to get in there so it's not going to rot out plus it's lighter weight than a true solid surface which we're when we're talking about a lightweight camper that is a huge deal you have the high rise kind of oil rub bronze faucet i do like the color also apron front stainless steel sink trying to kind of go with that residential look and feel a couple of drawers underneath you always have to have at least one looks like the bottom one is a little bit deeper even for some of those larger items which i really like you have the microwave right over here to the side underneath that you can see is your fuse panel. So you'll have both your uh, 12 volt and 120, uh, your 12 volt fuses, 120 breakers in there. And then up top is your two burner cooktop. That of course is recessed with the glass cover. So you can utilize this as prep space because without it, you just don't really have a lot, but with it, you can use that. Also, you can get sink top covers here or a drying rack, something like that. Maybe a big cutting board you can put on there. So you can utilize that space as well. As we mentioned, storage up top, you have a slimline hood underneath. 12 volt refrigerator take a look at that bad boy a lot of manufacturers are going to these and for good reason they cool down much quicker than your gas absorption plus you get more space in there and anytime you can have more space in the refrigerator is a good thing on a nice hot day like today it'd be great to be able to turn up this roof mounted ac here 13.5 k btu and do a great job of keeping everything in here nice and cool so we make our way back to the very back this of course is the bathroom see mirrored medicine cabinet right there up top robe hook over to the side as well as the electrical outlet and then right here is the uh, foot flush lever toilet and you'll see when I close the door I have plenty of room to do what needs to be done and if I take a step in the bath you can see the tub shower here right I'm six foot tall about 210 currently and I have more than enough space there lots of uh, good headroom if I turn to the side, I probably will be fighting with the curtain a little bit, but at least the curtain will stay in the tub because it is a tub. You have that higher thresholds. So the curtain's not going to be flying all over the place. Now over to the side are our bunks, 300 pound weight capacity on there. The bottom one does lift up. You can see the door so you can stuff all sorts of goodies in there and you have excellent storage space underneath. If it is a colder day, you also have the direct vent furnace located right there. Of course, you can turn that on. Obviously that runs on propane and that will keep things in here plenty warm. More storage across the way up top. And again, you can see that's backlit too. And both of these do have their own control. So if you don't want that, right, if, it's, if it looks like it's a hot mess, up there and you don't want to bring attention to that you can absolutely shut that off you have the dinette uh, this one is more of a two-seater dinette in my opinion uh, you know you can you can fit four but it's definitely a tight squeeze right uh, you know bigger guy like myself uh, gonna be a little bit tougher you know if you have two people it's perfect for two like I say probably a little tight for four in my opinion uh, but you know that's why you have picnic tables outside right and then right up front is the bed. So uh, you'll see that you have the headboard right here. You also kind of have a nightstand over to the side, which I like. And then you get storage underneath the pop-up power tower. So if you need to plug in a cell phone, you have the USB ports as well as a standard 120. So same thing if you have like a CPAP machine, something like that, you can plug that in there as well. And you have additional storage right up top. Last thing I do want to touch on before we head outside, folks, is if you want a TV, this is where they put the backer so you know where to mount it and the connections are right up on the ceiling. 
Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the 2022 Coleman Rubicon 1628BH. Right up front is a power tongue jack, making it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle, as well as to help you level the trailer front and back. Right behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with the, uh, the cover. And then behind that, you will see space for your battery. And there is enough space if you want two batteries, you certainly have enough room right there on the rails. You'll also see the diamond etch plating coming up the front, helping protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. LED lights in there, that gorgeous front windshield that we saw when we were inside and the three quarter front cap. Now coming around to the side, you do have extra solar prep, but the reason I say extra is that's if you want some extra solar via portable panel. There is a 190 watts fixed right up on the roof. And if you take a look inside, you will see the charge controller, the solar controller is built in right there. Above that, of course, is the battery disconnect, the lights to turn uh, the front cap, uh, the switch rather, turn your front cap lights on and off. And you have the 1200 watt inverter there as well, which is absolutely wonderful. That way you can run uh, a lot of your 120 outlets and things inside without having to use shore power. You can just run off the batteries. And folks, that is standard on the Rubicon to have that 190 watt solar and that inverter. So that's a huge, huge bonus. Uh, to get into the RV, you have the Lippert Solid Step. I love having a solid step. Just as the name implies, it is exactly that. You'll see it has aluminum treads right there so that you don't have to worry about those rusting out, some extra grip tape, adjustable legs, and you have the foldable grab handle to make it easier to get the extra control when entering or exiting the RV. Power awning on here, so again, touch a button to roll that guy out, same thing to go back in. Couple outside speakers. Uh, if, now, if you wanna to listen to music out here, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside. But of course, as you'd expect, that unit is Bluetooth capable. You also see TV hookup right outside here. So if you do want outside TV, you can utilize that. And you have a black tank flush to help you quickly wash out that black tank so you don't have to take a hose and stick it down the toilet. You will also see the uh, larger aggressive tires we have on there. They give you some off-road tires, gives you a little more ground clearance as well. And that's gonna be a kind of a big deal if you're, you know, you're hauling this to some places that, you know, again, a little more back road, right? This one's able to get a lot of places that a lot of other RVs can't purely because you have that extra uh, clearance. And again, you get the, the off-road tires, which if nothing else, look really nice. Uh, you will also see that in the past, I don't know if you noticed, but there is a griddle that comes with this unit. Right here is the bar for that. So it comes with a mount plus the griddle. So that way, if you want to do some cooking outside, you can. Of course, stabilizer jacks. Uh, you know, you'll have one on each corner. And you can also see the propane quick connect right down underneath there. So that way, if you need to, uh, you know, uh, again, plug that griddle in, you're able to do that. So it feeds off your two 20 pound bottles rather than having to buy these smaller ones. Coming around to the back, you'll see the rear mounted ladder, 250 pound weight capacity on there. It is a fully walkable roof as well, which is always great for maintenance. And then you can see the backup camera prep. So in the event that you want a backup camera, having the prep does make it easier to install, meaning it'll save you some money on labor. And this is one of my favorite parts. I love when bunk models do this, and that is they give you uh, the secondary smaller door here, which is amazing for storage. Now what you wanna do, you do wanna take this mattress out and throw it up top. The reason being, otherwise when you go to fold this up, right, it doesn't fit super well. And this model, uh, you, you can probably still make it work, you, you know, kind of like that. Um, but again, it may, it may, it may not. A lot of times it is just easier to take it out. But when you do open that up, take a look at all of that storage space you get. And even if you don't empty it all that out, again, as I mentioned, you do have that access from inside to this space as well, which is phenomenal. Right then underneath that is your termination. Both your black and gray tank valves will be located there. Cable inlet, your uh, 30 amp detachable power cord will plug in right here. Both your fresh and city water inlets, of course, water heater and the other side of the pass through. Folks, this right here is an absolutely killer floor plan. It is a great bunk model. Uh, if you're interested in this family RV and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.